Removing the background of an image on Affinity Designer on iPad is slightly different from the desktop version. Now you can see on the left hand side there I've got an image with the background already removed just leaving the girl central. Now let's close that down altogether and we'll start again. I'll load an image from photos. We'll go to photos and load one in. And there we are. There's the image. Let's pull it in a little bit so I can see the entire image. And we need to go into Pixel Persona. In Designer. Go to the layer and unlock that layer. But we're in Pixel Persona. Now, there we have a paintbrush tool. But down here a bit further, we have the Smart Selection tool. That's that one there, and that's the one you need. We've got 31.2 pixel size here, and you can see it's up and down there a little bit. Let's use about 54, and we'll select the background. Just brush that around there. That selects the background pretty much around there. Now we need to refine that a little bit. Subtract. Uh, I know what the trouble there is. We need to reduce the brush size a little bit and add There we go. Now there's a little bit there. Let's try refining that. It's not helping by having such a small image there. But there we go. That'll do for this. Now we'll apply that. And you can see the crawling ants all around that. That's simple. Okay, now we go to there and cut. And the background's gone. Well, there's a piece I missed. Well, that's okay. We can fix that later. Did you follow the steps there? Select the entire background around the object you want and remove the background. That's one way of doing it. Let's get right out of that by simply removing the entire history. There you go. There's no history left there now. And we're back to our plain locked background. Now let's unlock the image again and we'll do this another way. We're still in Pixel Persona. We need the selection tool 23. Let's set that to 20. There we go. That's a reasonable. Now we'll just highlight the girl in the center there. Oops. Too much, subtract. There we go. Uh, we need to reduce that to about six. Add just to get the hand in. There appears to be no other things. Now the trouble is we'll refine that. And you can see the girl is left there, although the red dress is a little confusing. Let's apply that. Now what happens if you type cut? If you select cut, you just go up there, select cut. Oops, she's gone altogether. The background's still there, but the girl's been cut. So let's undo that bit. I want to show you something else. You can copy the girl. Now you can go back to there, go back to new image from clipboard, and there we go. Now, that's why is that fuzzy? Because it's a much enlarged picture. That's the bit we cut out. That's about her actual size and you can see it's no longer fuzzy. So be careful of the what you cut out of that image because by enlarging it in the next image you've, um, <laughs> you've actually caused quite a few problems to the image itself. But that's one way of getting an object out of a photo. So let's go back to there. There's the original photo there. 
and you can see, of course, that's just an image I've taken from, I think, off the TV or somewhere, and you can see it's very fuzzy there anyway. But that's there's nothing you can do about that with this image. We could try another image to select something, but that's the second method. So the first method was select the background and delete that, and leaving your object. The second method is selecting the object, copying it, and pasting it into a new uh, document. It's as simple as that. So, I hope that helps.